Okay, but now if I want to create a new account book, all right, create a new account book, uh, from this sample account book, how do I do that? Okay, you go to file and then manage account book. I right, manage account book. Here, right, there are a lot of things you can do, like uh, create a account book, you can attach. Remember, just I mentioned about attach an account book that's here. And what does it do? Uh, it actually, uh, I'll do it later. I'll show you later. <clears throat> I'll, now I'll do the create account book first. So I create and then I put a name. Uh, let's say uh, my, M, my first account book. Same thing, okay, if I'm creating on my own computer and using the default instance, right? Default instance is what? Just how we mentioned before is 206, right? If this is the case, right? I can always use this option. Oh, I can use the default account book in this PC. But if today I'm creating this account book <clears throat> from a workstation, server is on another computer then i have to specify where the server is okay how to specify the server <coughs> the local means this computer if you want to specify the server you can uh two ways you can get a verbal server you go and search or uh, for instance if i click this see what happened but there are chances that you cannot find the server because of pro probably because of what firewall right firewall blocking then you cannot find that server or that server it doesn't actually open up something called they got blocking at the sql browser oh uh, this sql browser that means don't show you the instance name so from workstation right if you try to get that uh get that server's instance right you cannot oh uh, you cannot get uh, right from, from, from here, as you see, I get nothing. Even my own computer cannot because I did something. Now. <laughs> Even my own computer also cannot get. So in that case, right, I, I, it doesn't mean that I don't have SQL server. I have. So I know my instance, then I type my instance. If it's on another computer, there are two ways to put the computer name. One is put uh, the computer name itself. You find out the computer name of the server. Another way is to find out the IP of the server. So there are two ways. So if you're using IP, right? Usually what, how we type, let's say my IP is this, right? Then I just type in, okay, that, oh, then followed by the instance with the best, best stroke. Oh. If it's a uh, uh, computer name, also same. Oh, you just type in the, uh computer name here right there are also cases when you actually can put in the port number of the sql server uh, but that one i think uh, with, uh you you need to find out what is the port number on the sql server uh when we install as an instance right it's not one for one one for one uh one four three four something like that if you go online, right, you can search default SQL server port. It's something like uh, 1434 or, or, or 1433 or 143. There are quite a few. <laughs> I think 1433 is one of them. Uh, 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 they are uh, SQL server that associate with the TCP port. <coughs> oh, 1434 is the UDP port. Okay, doesn't matter if you know about the uh, network. But AutoCAL, when, when we use the DVD to set up, right, it actually create an instance that the port is, is different from default port. That means you have to find out what is the port. All right. How to find out the port, right? You can go to AutoCAL Wiki website. Because now even I share, uh, everyone may have different, different how to say, uh, configuration. All right, so for you can find out SQL server port. I believe we have that document. How uh, to configure dynamic? I think this is the one. 
you need to run an application. Let me see if this is the one. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You, you can go search for this, right? And then you just study this because you need to run an application. I don't know why SQL Server don't put a shortcut link nowadays. They, they, they hide it, you know? So you have to go and find yourself and then different version you run, run differently. Okay, so once you, as long as you can find this program, right, then it shouldn't be a problem now. You just follow this link and you follow this article, uh, look for your instance name, this is the instance A206. And then uh, after you selected the A206, right, you get the TCP IP. Okay, TCP IP, uh, you must, <coughs> if it's disabled, you must enable. Uh. This is also one of the reasons if it's disabled, right, then you cannot connect to the uh, cannot connect from outside or oh, outside cannot connect so you make sure it's uh, enabled after you enable you restart your uh, tcp ip i uh, know restart your service sql server service after you restarted <coughs> then you uh, when it's enabled then you can check what is the port so for instance uh, this the example here they show you you see it's different from the default port right is showing something to uh, 62493. Okay, so I know this one, if you uh, you know why it's SQL port, uh, I'm not sorry, you know why it's TCP port, then uh, you understand why we need this port, right? But if you don't know, then you just remember the steps or, or you come to wiki, you know where to find, then why do we need to know the port? Uh, because sometimes, right, uh, from the workstation, somehow you go through, especially you got something called domain. If you got a domain host, sometimes you cannot directly co uh, connect to the SQL server. Or that somehow you, the domain host uh, will do a reroute or something, then you cannot find. Uh, you cannot find. So end up uh, because of the port, sometimes it's because of the port. Then in that case, sometimes we use the port to uh, quickly solve the problem. Because if you put the instance right, it somehow you cannot go back to the SQL server to get the uh, port back. Because if you put A206, right, we also need to get the port back to communicate, all right? The, 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 the A206 is just like an alias, it's a name, all right, it's the name. But the actual communication between machine and machine, they use IP and port. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going too far here. Uh, this is quite technical. Uh, I'm uh, just something that uh, if you you, you can uh, practice, then you know how to uh, solve quite a lot of problem here. Okay. So now uh, I go go next page here to create a new account book uh this is the date all right <clears throat> this is the date uh, i have to be careful of. i have to make sure i'm creating the correct date uh for the transaction all right uh for instance now i'm uh my starting accounting period i put it uh first of january and then my transaction start date i start from first of january or so what's the difference is by one is my enter data, huh? my keying data start from when, and the one is my uh, accounting period start from when, okay? And the next one is the currency, uh, that depends on which country you are in or what, com uh, what currency you are using for this account book as the main home or main currency, or you can call it local currency, or you can call it uh, home currency, All right? But these three, is different meaning, but here it actually only one currency selected for your home currency, local currency, and even tax currency. Oh, tax currency, I can <clears throat> maybe later you will see. Uh, tax currency, we can have different currency. Uh, but this one is your account book financial currency. Okay, so here I will select the ring in Malaysia, and the tax now we are calling it SST. If you want to call it SST, you also can you just change to SST. All right, next. Here you got accounting package and then you got stock control package. Uh, next. Okay, this is your account code format. Okay, 
a cocoa format uh, we uh, up to customer and uh, customers like they want a uh, slash or maybe they want dash or maybe they want a uh, four character uh, numeric character new uh, alphabet numeric front and also back huh? so it's up to you you can study the uh, uh this one called uh, the uh the alphabet how huh? you can study here and find out what is it about <clears throat> and then okay here is interesting part when we create one account book, right uh, we want to have some accounts created for us that's a chart of account so there's a standard child account that we can always uh, use it as a reference. So depends on your business nature. So if it's a trading company, you select trading and manufacturing, you select manufacturing. But of course, every company may have different set of accounts because we are not like certain countries, like I believe certain countries like Vietnam and then uh, China. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I believe, like, I heard before that Vietnam, China, they all got a standard set of account that the companies must follow okay so but in, in Malaysia or maybe uh, in British we are, our, we are practicing the British uh, accounting system so this system right we can always uh, have uh, uh, but of course there are still a standard type, uh, standard uh, standard chart uh, so here we can follow trading company and then uh, if you want to copy from your existing account book maybe you already created one account book and you already maintain the child account and you want to copy from there, then you can select this option. Huh? So you select this option, you can even copy the uh, customer as well. And then here is to choose which account book. Okay. So right now I want to create an empty one using the trading. Then I click finish. Once I click finish, it start to generate the new account book. Okay, once you log into the new creator account book, right, there's a prompt dialog. Right? That dialog it says system option policy. So this option policy for the first time, right? I think you can just click OK. Right? Because you don't even know uh, uh even you know what are these settings, right? You don't even know currently why do you need to set this. So this is a default uh, optimized uh, setting here. So you just click OK. Until later on, if you want to change or any of this setting, you can always go back and change. Okay. So I just usually I just click OK. All right, now this is the MP one. As you can see, the child account here. This is the trading child account. Okay. But if you look into the data table, it's all empty. And then so that's how we where we want to start filling in some data. Okay learn how to create some data inside AutoCount Accounting.